Hello, I wanted to make this video to share with you this really fun thing that I'm excited to do with my class tomorrow. So um, we have, we're in fifth grade and we have finished our units on multiplication and our unit on division. And so what I like to do is have a unit after that where students are really targeting word problems and deciding if they are supposed to do multiplication or division. So they're getting that real world application. And what I had them do today is in teams. Each team was responsible for writing a real world problem that had to do with multiplication and then another real world problem that had to do with division. And I collected those from them and then this wonderful site Slides Mania that you have probably heard of has this template here already made for you and so all I had to do is go in and plug in their problems that they created and so tomorrow they're going to get a chance to actually play this board game virtually because we're in distance learning um, using their questions so um, embedded in here is a recording of dice so they just hit that play and then wherever they pause it that's what they have rolled which I know they're gonna love they're gonna try to get all <laughs> strategic with that and when they have chosen their pieces which color they have they'll have to go out of present mode they'll be in editing mode but they'll be able to move their piece wherever they are within the gameplay which I think they will really enjoy and whatever one they land on so let's say I push play boop okay I got five so then I would go one two three four five and they click on that Oh, lucky ducky. So that's the free pass one. So they would get to stay there. So then they would go back and then they would go into editing mode and they would move their their piece to five. And then the next person would go and let's see what we get that isn't a five. All right, six. And so they would be at the starting place and they'd go to six, click on it. And one of my students wrote this word problem. Johnny Boy was going to school. His books fell. He was holding eight they meant to put books. Half fell. How much did Johnny Boy not drop? And so that person is going to calculate it, try to get their answer, and then if they get it right, they get to stay on that sixth place. If they get it wrong, then they don't. Um, they go back two spaces. And the answer is on the back side for them. So kind of fun. And I just I put some really goofy bitmojis in there. Um, to do that um, and so I just thought this was really fun and so my instructions for them let me just show you the next page boop um, is that they're gonna play pause the dice um, person with the smallest number goes first they get to choose what color piece they are um, the number you roll equals the number of spaces you move forward blah 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 but what I love is that if for some reason you have them go through the game really really quickly there's this last part that they can go through and they can change the questions and make their own board game. And I can tell my class is probably going to be really excited about this. So I want to share this with you guys. Slides Mania. And if you um, can't find it, just send me a message. But I just thought this was so exciting. This is what, seriously one of my, my favorite websites with distance learning because you can build exciting things and uh, Slides Mania saves your time. So <laughs> here you go.